The James Wiseman situation is a bit tricky. Now, see, there's one of two things that could happen to James Wiseman this offseason. He could be traded to finally get another superstar that the Warriors desperately need, or the Warriors could keep him, and despite them wanting to win now, he could be a project to be their franchise cornerstone for the future. For me personally, I would like to see him stay with the Warriors and stay in Golden State. I think it is definitely the best situation for him to grow and become the player he's destined to be with the number two overall pick. But let's get to the truth of the matter. Will he be traded or will he actually be kept? And will Bob Myers and Joel Hicka put their trust in him to be the future franchise cornerstone? So there have been many articles and just many reports over the past few weeks, um, specifically saying that the Warriors are expected to trade James Wiseman, including the number seven pick to try and go after a star. Uh, this has been reported by many NBA insiders and many um, prominent sports news sources and other media sources. So, you know, it could be one of those things where the media is making up rumors, but could also, you know, kind of be accurate because I wouldn't be surprised if Bob Myers and Joel Acup are taking a look here and seeing what they might um, get and who might be available um, that they can get in a trade for James Wiseman. Um, specifically, they've been linked with rumors to guys like Pascal Siakam, DeMontis Sabonis, Miles Turner, um, since they do need more size and just depth overall in their front court. So those could be a few options, um, but the Warriors have not come out and said anything publicly about whether they wanted to trade him. At the same time, that's a smart idea. Um, I don't know why they would come out and say, oh yeah, we're gonna trade Wiseman when literally they just drafted him last year. And that would not give uh, Wiseman a very good um, impression. And that would definitely not make him wanna stay there. So that's definitely smart on the Warriors part. If I were Bob Myers and Joel Jacob, I would not say anything or even hint at the fact that they would trade him. So. Like I said, I think that's very good on their part, but let's get to the other side of this because the Warriors have made um, spe very specific comments in really what they want to do as far as keeping him. So what's interesting is that, you know, there's widespread expectation by many GMs that Bob Myers will look to shop James Wiseman in the number seven overall pick. And it's also really interesting that Bob Myers said that you know, the Warriors are not trying to develop players at the risk of losing. But with what we saw from James Wiseman last season and what we knew about him coming in to the league, um, we knew he was going to be a project. We knew he was going to be somebody that they're going to have to develop. And he's very, very raw. We could clearly see that. Like, he's just got a skinny frame. He's not up to NBA strength wise. And he's just got a lot of room to grow and a lot of different things to work on. Um, his defense, the Warriors were just not good defensively with him on the floor this year. Um, he's got a lot of things to work on offense as well. His shot looks pretty decent, but he's gonna have to get stronger in the post. Um, he's gonna have to be better at rim rolling, uh, catching lobs. Um, he's gotta get better hands. Like I said, overall, he's got, just gotta get better defensively too. And these you know, are not things that the Warriors can just fix with him in one season. This is going to take um, a lot of time for him. So I find it interesting that Bob Myers said that because Wiseman is somebody that they're gonna have to develop and keep long-term if they want him to become uh, the player that they think he can become, which is, you know, a superstar center and, you know, a generational type of talent. Having said all that though, Joe Lakeup thinks otherwise, and I'm gonna agree with him, and I'll, obviously I'm gonna get to what he said. But the thing is, you know, the Warriors wouldn't have taken James Wise in number two overall if they didn't see something in him and, you know, they didn't really, you know, let's say want to develop him, for instance. Like, if they really wanted to take a player more of fit and they actually really wanted to compete now and really, I guess, compete more and, you know, compete at a higher level uh, last season, they would have drafted um, more somebody based on need and draft a prospect um, more to, you know, that was more to the liking as far as like they were more polished and Wiseman clearly wasn't. So let me get to what Joe Lacob said. He said that I, he does not know what these people are watching. And he, by that, um, he doesn't understand all the James Wiseman criticism and, and you know, the rumors that they're gonna, you know, trade him. And Joe Lacob was absolutely flabbergasted by that. You know, he said he was excited about what he saw this year um, like I've said, he obviously came out of high school, basically. He, talking about Wiseman, had no summer league, no preseason. He got COVID and he got injured. Look, given all that, I would have liked to see him play more games at the end. Particularly, he would have gotten better, I think, towards the end. But big men at 19 years old, take a look at history. If you look, if you use your eyes and you look at what you saw overall, look at some of the potential. So I perfectly agree with this. Um, a lot of big men in the NBA have taken a lot of time to develop, a specifically 19-year-old raw prospects. Um, you could look back at Kevin Garnett 
and other centers like that. So I do agree with him. And, you know, with what we saw, he has a lot of potential. You know, there were times where it's like, oh, you don't know if he could put it on the floor yet. He's taking it the length of the court during Euro steps like Giannis and throwing it down on people. So it's those type of flashes that, you know, Joe Lacob sees and where it's like, okay, we could really develop this kid into something. So I have to agree with him on that. So continue with the quote, he said, when you draft 19 year olds, you're drafting on potential. Nobody's coming in and dominating at 19 years old, which I'll say is true. Nobody, not even Kobe. Bryant took off until year three, and he wasn't even a center. And Joel Embiid missed his first two years with injury. These expectations are high. So I would definitely have to agree with all these things. And having said that, I think the Warriors are going to keep him. I'm looking at Joel Jacobs' quote, and I know Bob Myers said, you know, that, you know, they're not going to, you know, try to develop players and all that, but... They pick Wiseman for a reason, and they're going to keep him. Um, they could obviously shot the number seven pick, number 14 pick, and Andrew Wiggins. And they could even give up some of the other young prospects if they don't want to give up Wiseman. So that's my take on this. Um, I think the truth is he's not going to be traded. Uh, don't get so excited that he's going to be trade bait, and we got to see what he can do next year and the years coming. So thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.